Hello y'all and welcome to Cornbread Creek Farms. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, we just made uh, pineapple jam and I just took the head or the, the green part of the pineapple, I cut it off and you'll see I kind of just trimmed the leaves off of it, just made it a little duller. And what I did too is I just kind of just went around the bottom and, and I'm just taking these old dead brown leaves. I'll come on in here a little bit closer. Just kind of just taking this old brown stuff and just kind of peeling it off and then just peel a few of these green spiky parts back a little bit. Get a good area. This right here is going to be the part where the roots is going to come out. So and I, I just took my scissors and I just kind of just trimmed this up. I actually had the whole process going. You can see where where I took it all off. I, for some reason I forgot to hit record and that seems like it would be something important to do if you're running a YouTube channel. But all this stuff, it'll all come back. Uh, now this won't be something that we'll be able to eat this year. It'll be next year before we can harvest it. But um, we need to go ahead now and get it planted. And then next year we'll have a fresh pineapple. Now this is just one I bought out of the store. So let's go out to the greenhouse. I've got a hydroponics uh, Dutch bucket system that I'm going to plant this in. So come on, join me. Let's, let me go show you what we're going to do with it. All right, so here we are in the greenhouse. Uh, this year we don't have a whole lot of real estate out here but I do have a empty bucket right down here over here between my eggplant and my um, tomatoes and so we're just gonna plant it right here I'm gonna bring in a little bit closer where you can see what I'm gonna do so this is my Dutch bucket system and what it is it's just got a water line that's running water constantly that I just have in here that I let it run into the gravel there that me moving around to where I can find the line see there's the line so I'm just gonna kind of move this old what's called hydrot and this little gravels out of the way and we'll position that line where it just constantly just runs onto the fruit and keeps it nice and wet And we're just going to take that and just cover it up just like that. Now, like I said, this year, this won't do nothing. But next year, the only thing we're looking to do today, or this year, is establish the roots. So it's in there. It's not going anywhere. Water's running to it constantly. Them roots are going to come out and spread out through the system. And then uh, it'll sit dormant over winter. And then next summer, it's going to pop up. And it's going to be amazing. We'll have a big old pineapple up here. Can't wait to show you. Make sure that you, uh, so I was saying that make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and that way you can keep up, uh, up with the updates that we do this. If you hadn't noticed, I've got a hydroponic system in here. I've got a lot of videos on it. I also do different kinds of gardening. I've got a hay bale garden. I have garden beds. I have a no dig potato garden. Um, all kind of neat stuff. We uh, preserve fruits. We preserve vegetables. We store stuff for famine or hard times, or even in good times, we've still got food that we can eat that we'll have in storage. But thank you for watching. Hope this helps you. Uh, as always, I love you, and God loves you. But most importantly, say hey, you mom and him for me. <laughs>